At the last Board of Selectmen meeting, DPW Director John Westerling gave an update on some of the tasks and projects of the hardworking Hopkinton DPW Department. Through the chair, uh, big picture, due to the generosity of the residents of Hopkinton, the DPW's average annual operating budget over the last three years has been approximately $9 million, which was dedicated to $4 million for the highway division, $2.9 million for the sewer division, and $2.2 million for the water division. We have the unique privilege and opportunity to positively impact residents' lives on a daily basis by providing the physical assets, the management practices, the policies, and the personnel necessary to provide and sustain structures and services essential to the welfare and quality of life for this community. John, sorry, real quick. Yes. The number you mentioned, the numbers you mentioned at the beginning of your comments, those include enterprise funds, correct? That's correct. Revenue? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the value added by that $9 million investment, day in and day out, is as follows. We maintain 110 miles of public roads and 53 miles of sidewalk by providing the necessary signage, traffic lights, and pavement management to ensure safe travel. Our pavement condition index for our roads has increased every year thanks to the annual pavement management plan and the thoughtful investment in that pavement structure. We also remove snow and ice to ensure safe commuting in the winter. Hopefully that won't be upon us for several months. Stop it. We, <laughs> we provide more than 1 million gallons of clean potable water on a daily basis for drinking, cooking, and commercial and industrial uses by operating and maintaining eight wells and water pump stations and 76 miles of water main. We collect and treat sewerage to help protect the public health by operating and maintaining eight sewer pump stations, 40 miles of sewer pipe, and a sewer treatment facility. We manage the automated collection of cur curbside trash and recyclables from 4,500 residential properties and all town buildings, including the schools. We maintain six parks and fields, including the common, for the enjoyment of the public. We maintain seven public cemeteries and conduct burials in those cemeteries when required. We maintain the DPW fleet that has a total value of $4 million, and we perform many fleet maintenance jobs for the police and fire departments. And we manage the maintenance of public shade trees. In addition to that day-to-day -day work, the DPW must address emergency work, such as storms, whether they be snow, ice, or wind, water and sewer breaks, etc. The Board of Selectmen also invited the NBA champion Golden State Warriors to Hopkinton to celebrate their championship. And I look at the tie that Hopkinton has to the NBA with Walter Brown being one of the founders of the Boston Celtics. <coughs> Um, and being involved to the point where it's actually the trophy, the championship trophy was named after him for 20 years, uh, 1964 to 1984. And so I see Hopkinton's tie to the NBA and I think it would be fitting for Hopkinton to reach out and offer that same stage uh, while it may not be Washington DC but offering a celebration outside of uh, outside of um, uh, you know their hometown area, so that uh, the nation can can see the team. Uh, they can uh, acknowledge it. They can celebrate. Uh, what goes on in Washington D.C. these days um, is precluding a lot of things from happening that otherwise might, and I find that to be very unfortunate and very frustrating. I would love to meet Stephen Curry. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Uh, I would love to meet uh, these folks and laud them for their championship last year. Uh, it's unfortunate that the entire nation on that stage, I mean, we have a stage here. We, could, you know, we do have a big stage once a year, and the world comes and hangs out for, for a weekend with us. Uh, but the stage here in Hopkinton is different than the stage in Washington, D.C. So I'm not sure if we can, quote, compete with that. but. Uh, if, if they'd be willing to come by and uh, thank a governmental body somewhere uh, for inviting them to come and, and celebrate their victory, even though I'm a big Celtics fan as well, uh, I'd, I'd love to do it because I think it would be a unique opportunity for the town and perhaps we could help others understand that we have to get past some individual differences in our country 
and still try and move forward in a positive manner, which unfortunately is not happening. Uh, when I first heard this, that's what I thought it was going to be. Is it, it, it's a gimmick and it's a, it's a, you know, a slight to Trump or a slight to this person, a slight to that person. I wasn't too interested in, in getting involved. But the more I looked into it, and for the exact same reasons that Mr. Sestari said about the history of Hopkinton and the Browns and that the, you know, that the trophy, I mean, I'm not a basketball fan, I'm not a Celtics, I don't like any type of basketball. But the fact that if we could get Hopkinton prominently in the news in a positive light, in a political sense, where the country right now is a, a mess politically. So if we could do it politically, or not politically, if we could just put Hopkins in, in a positive light and get these guys here to do that, I think that would be great. I don't think it's a gimmick. I don't think it's a, a shtick. Okay. So that said, uh, we're ready for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Abstain, and it carries.